In my opinion, this game is an underrated classic. Kung Fu Kid for the Sega Master System. This game was created by Sega and came out in 1987. It is a two-player game. Uh, when you're a kid, this game is fairly challenging. But when you get older, you're like, is this it? Nonetheless, the nostalgia factor to me is still there. And this game, I think, has cool music. Um, graphics not bad for a Sega Master System game. Uh, it's pretty good for a Sega Master System 8-bit uh, game. Um, in my opinion, these graphics are pretty good for its time. I don't know if those things are grass ha grasshoppers or what, but instead of if you're gonna keep on fighting every enemy on the screen, you're gonna end up being here all day. So what you need to do is just do this: just keep jumping over your enemies, just like in Nightmare on Elm Street for the NES. Instead of jumping and, or punching and, uh, and kicking or whatever those spiders on the street on Elm Street, on this game, instead of punching and kicking these enemies, just jump over them. It's much easier to do it that way. And the first boss is fairly easy. You fight Yokozuna here. For years, uh, after I played this game, and as I grew up, and I uh, hadn't played this game in years, I would always look back and think that this game was called Karate Kid, which is not based off the movie at all. Uh, then I found out, it's, I saw it at Special Effects one day, and I remembered, oh, it's called Kung Fu Kid. So my memory's not as sharp as I thought it was about this game. And pretty much in every level, just jump over the enemies and kind of run for your life. It's much quicker. And this level, stay at the top level right here. And watch out for the worms that jump from the ceiling. Stay like that. And if you're asking yourself, does this same song play in every single stage? No, it doesn't. I think it don't play again until stage 8. I think stage 8, 7 or 8 is the last stage and this song plays in there again. And then you fight this woman with no face. Here's a strategy. Well, you, you gotta time your kicks. Wait until she either gets on the top right of the screen or the lower left of the screen right here. This is the this is a uh, easy game uh, now, but when you're a kid, it's fairly challenging. It's the same pattern over and over and over again. Oh, oh, dang it! Oh. <laughs> well, okay. I died already. And you gotta start all over, but that's okay because the length of these stages aren't that long. I think it's cool how out the window you can see the background of the first level. what I get from running my mouth there a little bit. I missed her. Oh, okay, yeah, you can also do that. Hello. I haven't played this game in a while, so give me a break. Last time I was playing this game actually was on GameTap. I had the actual cartridge to this game, believe it or not. But not the very same one I have now as a kid. I bought uh, this game later on at Special Effects uh, a few years ago. I think it was 2003, actually. Stage 3. And I loved this game so much when I was a kid. This level right here was uh, one of the levels I was thinking of whenever I would... I, I think I was like in kindergarten or first grade. Somewhere around there when I play, was playing this a lot. And I would get off the school bus and the first thing I was thinking was I cannot wait to get home and played this game. Oh look, yeah, look at that right there. That wall jump. Now that's way ahead of his time. 
Because I didn't see the first wall jump in a video game until Chun Li from Street Fighter. Dang it, you gotta fight this freaking Lego block man over here, shooting their arms at you. Yeah, and I forgot you can also throw these bricks of fire or bricks of death, whatever they are. Since I have plenty of them, I might as well use some. <laughs> yeah, you got frogs in this game right here. I, where am I at? Some sort of ancient temple, I guess? These guys, all they do, these guys look, look like they can be in Double Dragon or something. I mean, no, nah, they get whooped in Double Dragon easy because all they do is, I think, I think they're trying to give me a death grip or something with both hands. I don't know what the heck they're doing. But anyway, uh, you continue to play as Macaulay Culkin, uh, walking around just kicking people. Basically, you don't punch in this game. I realized, just realized that just now. You don't punch in this game. And, yeah, this frog is basically the easiest boss in the game, because that's all you do is just kick it. All it does is hop at you in the same pattern, which is ridiculously easy. But oh well, because this game is fun. Now, this stage is awesome. Now, I love the music. Oh, and now you got to fight darker, more sinister-looking grasshoppers now. And the water that drops in this level will take, uh, will cause you damage. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I got hurt by water. I guess it's supposed to be contaminated water or something, dirty water, I don't know. Oh yeah, two hits to kill these grasshoppers. And these guys, you fight both these... Oh, what? Whoa! Now wait a minute, those guys were not supposed to be that easy. They were actually supposed to jump around throwing knives at you. I think I just accidentally discovered a glitch. I never knew that till now. <laughs> oh well, I somehow figured out a glitch and beat him easily. Okay, moving on to level 5. These stages can look like they could be in a Mega Man game. I mean, <laughs> look at them. <laughs> uh, I guess this could be Yellow Man or something. I don't know what the heck. I guess I'm inside an ancient temple now. And this level is one of the hardest ones to me. This level got me freaking nervous. It made me so mad when I was a kid. I'm kind of surprised they didn't make a sequel or anything to this. I don't think they have. I think this is the only Kung Fu game. I think it's the only game in the series. Uh, I think it would have been a great remake on Genesis. I, I, then again, I mean, I don't know everything about games. I mean, I know quite a bit, but not a lot. And, uh, what? Okay, even though they're on their knees, they can still hurt you. Um, they're supposed to be incapacitated at the moment, but... Just like in any classic video game, if you touch an enemy, or pretty much any video game, if you touch an enemy, that's that's what takes uh, cause you to take damage. Jump on the wall. There you go. This could be Lego Man. <laughs> if this is a Mega Man game, this could be Lego Man because those little purple things shooting the arms at you look like Legos. Look like you know those little Lego guys. That's what it looked like, a little freaking Lego character. They should have made Lego Man from Mega Man. That would have been pretty cool. This could be the stage, but with better music. But yeah, this game is not bad. Pretty fun game to play when you were a kid. This is one of the earliest games I've played in my life. I think one of the earliest games or earlier games before this that I played, uh, I think I played the Pac-Man and Asteroids for the Atari, then I think then the next system I actually owned was this system, then I finally got an NES, NES was the system to have at the time, 
That's a cool design right there. That's cool graphics for a Sega Master System game. Okay, now you're fighting Shang Tsung in his early years. Oh, I mean, this guy was kind of hard. You gotta watch out. Oh, well, watch out. Dang. Oh, what the heck? Ah, oh, dang, it got me. That's alright. Uh, this game is a classic. Um, you know, I just thought I'll show this real quick. Um, my next review is supposed to be Castlevania 2 Simon's Quest. And I promise you, that will be my next review. And then after that, it will be Castlevania 3. Uh, so those two games are definitely next in the Time to Play series. I just wanted to show this real quick and review a different kind of game this time instead of an NES game. So there you go. Well, I'm Ron Moore. God bless. Take care.